Hello everyone, welcome to today's Dhani Ki Baat. My name is Rohit Singh Ray. Again, in this particular video, we will uh, look at the Nifty Nifty Bank uh, view, uh, sector uh, specific view, and also along with that, we will look the stock specific action. So let's start with the Nifty. Uh, before going uh, with the Nifty view, uh, last week uh, we have you know uh, suggested that metal space looking robust and it has uh, witnessed a strong up move in the last week. Now, uh, if you can see in the Nifty front, first of all, last week was the trunked week, uh, so not much uh, trading days was there. Only three days were there, so not much action has been witnessed on the uh, bosses, both the Nifty Nifty Bank. But if you can see, uh, if you can see the Nifty chart out here, the uh, immediate and the strong hurdle is placed at this level, which is coming around fourteen thousand nine hundred. Just let me make it black. Uh, yeah. So 14,900 will be a make or break level for the coming week. Once we sustain above 14,900, the next leg of rally can push index towards this levels, which is 15,300 on the higher side. And if we failed to sustain above uh, 14,900, then we may see some sort of profit in bucket, which can hamper, which can uh, drag index again towards 15,500. But the probability is on the higher side. Okay, that we may see a decision move above 14,900. Uh, we don't require the decision move. We require that the market should sustain above 14,900. Then only we may see the next leg of rally towards this level, which is 15,300 odd levels in the uh, near term. So 14,900 will be stiff hurdle on the higher side and will act as a make or break level for the next week. So 14,900 uh, will be make or break level. On the higher side, 15,300 will be the final target for the nifty 50 and on the downside the immediate uh, the strong support is lying somewhere around 14500 but before that also we have a very good support of 14700 on the immediate basis but on the resistance front as such we don't have a strong hurdle which can you know stop index so we may see a good move if the current levels are held or we may see a good move once we see a decision move about 14,900 or we sustain above 14,900 odd levels. Now let's look at what Nifty Bank is suggesting us. Just a minute. Now again, uh, the same structure has been, uh, you know, uh, we can see in here. Uh, this blue line acted as a very good support. Last week I also said the hammer formation was there. And again, the same range, uh, you know, Nifty Bank has traded, not the aggressive move. Uh, has been witnessed on the nifty bank but again like i said in the last week also on the higher front 34700 34800 will be a strong hurdle and on the downside uh, 33000 will act as a strong support so i think going forward also the same range can uh, extend further in the nifty bank so uh, this will be a narrow range one can say for the near term uh, downside 33000 will be a fantastic support on about 33,000, 33,300 will be uh, immediate support and the overall support lies at somewhere around 33,000. On the higher side, it has immediate hurdle of 34,200 and once we cross 34,200, the major hurdles comes in which is 34,700 and once we cross this usually about 34,700, then there is not a good hurdle one can say and then we may see a good move towards uh, you know the previous swing highs. So 34,700 will be a very steep hurdle. One can look to book their gains out there near 34,700. But again, we may see some sort of consolidation in the same range. 34,700 on the down, uh, higher side and 33,000 on the downside. Now let's uh, look at what sector, uh, you know, uh, one need to keep a radar on. See, like I said, uh, it was a trunked week. So there was not much uh, sector specific moment, but uh, two space, uh, you know, I want to uh, recommend uh, here in the first space uh, I, I like in here is the cement space. Cement space has seen a very good uh, traction last week. Uh, majority of the cement stock has uh, seen a very good move in the last week. The first uh, name that comes to my mind in the cement space is the Shri Cement. Just a minute. So if you can see in Shri Cement, it has given a decisive breakout. Just a minute. Let me draw the breakout zone. So this was the breakout zone for the Shri Cement. A very strong breakout volume activity strong volume activity also witnessed uh, this was a range strong hurdle was there and then it crossed the 29,000 uh, very decisively so I think again uh, any dip around 29,000 will be a fantastic opportunity to accumulate three cements 
you know the structure is quite positive existing longs definitely can be hold uh, we may see a good move towards uh, you know 31000 32000 in the near term so shri cement will be uh, the first uh, pick in the cement space if you want if anyone wants to accumulate definitely dips can be used as a buying opportunity somewhere around uh, the 28500 or 29000 or 11 the second name that comes to my mind uh, in the cement space is the ramco cement again a very good move has been witnessed last three session can you see it has reached to its immediate hurdle but i think uh, this immediate hurdle will be crossed uh, in the next week also so again the ramco cement uh, can see a very good move once it cross above 1030 or let's say 1040 odd levels once it cross above 1040 level then we may see the next leg of move towards 1100 1150 odd levels so again ramco cement uh, will be a very good pick in the cement space now uh, supports where are the supports for the ramco cement so this is again the support zone for the ramco cement so again 990 uh, 980 will be a fantastic support for the ramco cement if anyone wants to put their stop losses out there they can put below 980 odd levels uh, will be a, a very strong support for the ramco cement the third name uh, which is the acc just a minute ACC has seen a very good good breakout on weekly chart. If you can see in here, just a minute. So yeah. So multi year high has been taken out in the ACC. So uh, until uh, unless ACC is trading above 1850, 1800 odd levels, it is very good to go. Uh, you know towards north worth. Uh, we may see a uh, aggressive move in ACC. So again, any dip will be a going uh, will be a very good buying opportunity when when it comes to the acc 1850 fantastic support below 1850 only we may see some sort of profit booking comes in but jab tak 1850 ke stock trade kar raha hai this stock has a very good strength and it has a potential to go towards 2200 odd levels in the near to short term so now the second space uh, uh, which uh, striking my mind is the nifty auto though not the very aggressive one can say but some of the observation I just wanted to share uh, with you all guys just a minute so if you can see in here uh, it has formed the inside uh, bark uh, sort of candle pattern or one can say the bullish harami candle pattern on the weekly chart and uh, it has a very good support of Kijun uh, it has never broke this Kijun uh, the, uh, you know from the downside uh, when the rally has started still it, is, it has not uh, broke it so I think again the Kijun will act as a very good support on the downside and again it has formed the bullish harami sort of candle pattern. So we may see some uh, sort of a movement in the Nifto Auto uh, in the coming sessions. Again uh, there would be a flag breakout you know uh, once we cross about somewhere around uh, 10,300 once we cross about 10,300 there will be a flag breakout also in Nifty Auto a uh, weekly chart. So which can again uh, add the traction for the Nifty Auto. So Nifty Auto one can keep a radar on. Now what are the stock? Two stock uh, which are looking good in the Nifty Auto. Again, uh, both uh, the stock has a given a not aggressive move, but yes, uh, it is good to keep a radar on these stocks. So now the first name is again Mahindra and Mahindra. The same uh, structure is happening out here. The Kijun support has been taken out uh, with the Mahindra and, Mahindra and it formed the you know dragonfly sort of doji candle pattern, which is again the reversal sort of candle pattern. So at, Again, if we sustain about let's say you know 810 or 820 odd levels in the Mahindra and Mahindra, then we may see a good move in the uh, MM. And there is one more flag pattern is also which has the breakout somewhere around 840 odd levels. So once we cross about 840, then we may see uh, more traction in the MM. So MM will be uh, one peak uh, when it comes to the auto space. Now uh, the support part 770 will act as a fantastic support for the MM. So if anyone has the position, definitely they can hold uh, with keeping stop loss below 760, 765 odd levels for the MNM. The second uh, stock uh, in the same space is the Ashok Leyland. Just a minute, I will uh, share the chart. Now again, weekly chart is same. Uh, it has taken the support from the Kijun itself. Now on the daily chart, it has respected this pan B and given the small sort of breakout. If you can see in here, uh, it has given the small rectangle pattern or small double bottom pattern. Uh, breakout uh, with a decent volume so which again uh, uh, looks uh, which can uh, make Ashok Leyland more lucrative at the moment now uh, what are the levels that one need to keep a radar on for the Ashok Leyland 115110 will be fantastic support for the Ashok Leyland so until and unless it is trading above 110 it has a potential to uh, move towards 125 odd levels in the near to short term 
So Ashok Leyland will be second pick uh, in the Nifty Auto space. Now uh, let's look at the stock specific action. The first stocks uh, which is coming to uh, my radar is the Newland Laboratory. Just a minute. So this is the first stock. Uh, not very aggressive breakout, but uh, the decent breakout has been seen. It was uh, not crossing this. Uh, you know the level one can say. Uh, 2100 was cross decisively on the Friday session a very good volume activity also witnessed on the Friday session so I think uh, we may see a good move uh, you know until uh, unless it is trading about 2050 which is the immediate support for the Newland uh, laboratories so until uh, unless it is trading about 2150 we may see a good move uh, in the near term uh, towards around these levels so which is 23 2350 odd level so new land laboratory will be the first stocks which one need to keep a radar on the second stocks uh, i want to share with you guys is the gujarat alkalis just a minute yeah so again uh, let's look at the broader picture so again stock is trading in a strong range if you can see in here strong range has been formed uh, by gujarat alkalis and uh, it has a pattern of touching this uh, lower band one can say and going up but uh, if you can see in here last last friday session it has seen a breakout the stock has reversed in between so we may see a good move first of all up to this level 375 which is the immediate hurdle for the gujarat alkalis on the higher side so 375 will be immediate hurdle and we may we can see the breakout above this also because uh, it has not touched the uh, lower band and it uh, rebound from the in the from the middle end so i think uh, gujarat alkalis will be another pick that one need to keep a radar on strong support lies somewhere around 340 odd levels so until and unless uh, it is trading about 340 odd levels it is good to go towards 375 and above that also and the last stocks which i want to focus on is the hdfc amc just a minute let me share the chart yeah so hdfc amc has been witnessed a small double bottom breakout we can see in here just a minute i will draw the double bottom yeah so double bottom breakout has been witnessed and it has uh, you know the pattern got active one can say so i think uh, the immediate and the strong support for the uh, sdfc amc lies somewhere around 2900 so until uh, unless it is trading about 2900 it is good to go somewhere around these levels okay so again a very good risk reward ratio if anyone uh, hold uh, these stocks definitely they can hold so uh, with keeping trailing stop loss of 2950 and then we may see uh, somewhere around 3100 3200 le levels in near to short terms so we have discussed nifty nifty banks cement space auto space and the particular stocks in which uh, newland uh, laboratory sdfc amc and gujarat alkalis so these are the stocks these are the space that one can keep a radar on for the coming week so that's all from our side thank you so much for watching this thank you so much